Hi everyone, this is Billy. I grow my hydroponic plants using a non-cycling, passive method. Two months ago, I started an experiment and tried to grow the same type of vegetable in three different tanks. The most shallow one and the deepest one. After two months, I find that the deepest tank has the best harvest, given the same level of nutrient. This is the deepest tank, and I find the vegetable the largest. I have a theory that because the tank is deeper, the amount of roots that can uh, be exposed to air is also larger, hence more oxygen is taken by the plants and better harvest. However, I only have shallow tanks, like a two inch tanks for this vegetable. So how can I improve? I usually grow my lettuce and other vegetables using this very shallow growth tank of two inches deep. This is fine during the early stages of the plant growth when they are still seedlings. As the plant grows bigger and bigger, there may not be enough space for the roots. The roots seem to be drowned within the nutrient, and there's no space for the roots to be aerated. The solution is to add this growth bed lifter as the plant grows bigger. That's the part in black. It can lift up the growth bed by another two inch, so your roots can get more space more chances to get in oxygen. Make the roots grow healthier, that will lead to better harvest. I intend to use some plastic cardboard and a 3D designed rubber leg for the stand. I put the link to my fingerless site so you can download this yourself and print it. I also provided another method in case you don't have a 3D printer. You can buy these rubber legs for chairs or tables from Amazon or other sites. So you can easily create this growth bed lifter. If you plan to use a 3D printer, printing time is about 9 hours. So after printing out this 3D printed stand, we need to cut a few strips of plastic cardboard. This cardboard looks like this. It's not the paper cardboard, so it is better for long-term use. So once we got this, we can assembly assemble our stand, our growth bed lifter, like this. Just push it in. Create the uh, rectangular shape that we need. You can optionally use the hot glue gun to uh, put some glues in the holes here to fasten it. Okay, then you can try see whether it fits okay so it fits nicely then I'm going to move the plants from here to here it's very easy you just lift it up and ship it across so these plants have been growing or around a month or two with the long roots so we can easily transport it over here see now it's enjoying a deeper growth tank much deeper than before and the roots have more space 
to be aerated. So it's all because of this glow pad lifter. Don't forget to also look at my auto water level controller so it can fit in here. Control the water level at only about two centimeters. So we'll leave the rest of the space for the roots to be aerated. And for this side, we connect to the nutrient tank through a longer pipe. But if you don't have 3D printer, you can try to buy the rubber leg from Amazon or eBay. I've provided a link in the description of the YouTube video. You can click the link to buy it. I find these rubber leg covers for your chair or table. They come in different sizes. Get four of them together. Then use a scissor to cut open the two ends of the L-shaped leg so you can insert a piece of plastic cardboard. So you need to cut a notch at the leg so that uh, the whole of the cardboard can be inserted into the rubber leg. This is to ensure that low lights can come into the growth tank and interact with the nutrient, otherwise there will be algae problems. Algae may grow inside your nutrient tank, which is no good. Once you have the four cardboard all cut out, you can install it. And you can either use stapler or some glues to secure it. Now there you have it, the growth bed lifter. So let me fit that into my shallow tank. This is the one with the growth bed lifter fitted. You see uh, there's extra two inches of space for the roots. So the roots are growing very healthily using that extra space to get the air, uh, to aerate the roots. It's important to keep the nutrient level at the same uh, two centimeter level. So you've got enough space for the air to aerate the roots. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like, subscribe, and send to your friends to watch too. Bye now.